Hey there. We're going to do di differentiability of graphs and uh, have one right out of the book here. And we're going to fill out A, B, and C on this graph. Um, I think the first thing it says at what domain points does the function appear to be with a colon and then differentiable, continuous but not differentiable, and neither continuous nor differentiable. And we have to be able to fill all three of these out. Um, so you're going to have test questions like this. So differentiable. The domain of this graph, by the way, is from negative 2. This is the, I'm going to write on top of this, from this x value to this x value. So that, that distance right there is called the domain. Obviously, don't write that down. You'll gunk up your graph, but you can see that that's what a domain is. It's these x values. X values. All right, so from what x values does that go to? Well, it goes from negative 2 to 3. So we would say, uh, at what domain points does the function appear to be differentiable? Well, we could say, basically, every point where it's not continuous or where it has things like a corner or a cusp or something like that. So we could say all all points in negative 2 to 3. So in other words, if I just put a period at the end of that statement, that would mean everything is differentiable. But then we could say, but we know there are some that aren't. And then we could put a comma and we could say except, except different points. Well, this point here at uh, negative 1 can't be. Right, because that's that's clearly a corner, and we talked about on that on other videos. If you were to graph its derivative, you would have something that you know would be like it would be split up. You would have something going down here and something going up here like that. Um, actually, it would be more like this and this. Okay, so this this derivative graph of the green stuff here is broken and that that's a point where it's not differentiable so we could say except where x equals negative one now where else well this is clearly split here so that wouldn't be good the limit the one-sided limits if you're thinking about why this works and you get somebody asks the question well, what does this mean well as we approach the limit going this way that tangent line is up there and the one going this way towards zero, coming down this way, would be down here. So that graph, the derivative of this graph, would be split up there as well. So it can't be zero. And back up in time there. So zero is no good. And what else? Well, here, this is clearly not continuous. So where these graphs are not continuous, they're not differentiable. Okay. So like that. So this is this is another point where it can't be so two. So that would be the answer to A. Now, what about B? Where is this graph? Where does the domain points appear to be continuous but not differentiable? Okay. Well, to satisfy those parameters, we would have to figure out which one of these three points, right? That's where they're not differentiable are any of these three points continuous well right the negative one is in fact continuous this graph goes down here stops what appears to be right there and goes back up that is a corner but it's continuous so we would say at x equals negative one now let's check the other two is it continuous here at zero well, no, because it's up, you know, one end is up here and one end is down here. And by definition from the limits, it's got to be the same on both sides. Here it's, it, you know, meets. And two, certainly, this is a removable discontinuity. Okay, so this is, uh, this is a no. So it's just this answer here. So let me circle the answers. Okay, and finally... 
C. Where on the domain does this function appear to be neither continuous nor differentiable? All right, so this one, neither continuous nor differentiable, would have to be this point right here at zero and this point right here. So this would be um, where x equals zero and x equals two. It's kind of like, if you're doing this for the first time, it's kind of like these points here are part of the answers to these two questions, if that makes sense because this ask is a continuous but not differentiable and this says neither continuous nor differentiable so it kind of accounts for all of them that's it have a good one